Okay, here's page two of the review packet. Just like before, I want to line up the sides that go together. Remember, this is a unit five review packet. Um, we know that these lines are parallel, which means my alternate interior angles are going to match up. We also have a pair of vertical angles. So now it should be easy to match our sides up. So three is between one arc and three arcs. X is between one arc and three arcs. Five is between two and three arcs. Eight is between two arcs and three arcs. So I'm gonna do three goes with X, five goes with eight. So if I cross multiply, I get five X equals 24. And if I divide both sides by five, I get 4.8 for X. Okay, for D, here's my first triangle. So seven, the, um, the height goes with five, the base. This is gonna go with this. So the full height of the big triangle is seven plus X. Remember these are two pieces, we add them together. The bottom is six. So when I cross multiply and then distribute, When I divide both sides by 5, I'm going to get x equals 7 over 5. Okay, let's keep going. Over here, same thing again. So I have my first triangle here. I have to do whole side over whole side. So 60 inches over x equals whole thing over whole thing. Well, this whole thing is going to be 84. The whole bottom is 96. So I'm going to get 84x equals... 60 times 96, ooh, that's a big one. 57, 60, I'm gonna divide both sides by 84. Ooh, that doesn't divide evenly, so I'm gonna leave, wait, I think I did something wrong. One second, guys. Okay, so um, there's a couple things you can do. If you were to multiply this out um, or divide this, you're gonna get a decimal, and so if you wanted to leave it like that, you could. Or you could leave it as this. If you do math, enter, enter, or you turn it back into a fraction, it simplifies down to that. So you guys have a choice there. Um, let's look at F. Um, okay, so um, there's a couple ways you can do it, but why don't we do, um, here's this green triangle. So X is gonna go with six. Now I'm gonna look at the big triangle. Okay, we did x first, which was from the top, so we're going to do x plus 5.7. The whole bottom is 10.5. When I cross multiply, I'm going to get 10.5x equals 6x plus 5.7 times 6. That's 34.2. I'm going to subtract 6x onto that side. That's going to be 4.5x equals 34.2. And if I divide that by 4.5, I get x equals 7.6. Okay, let's go down. It says list three ways to prove that two triangles are similar, where our only options are AA similarity, SAS similarity, and SSS similarity. Okay, are the two triangles similar? Justify your response. So A has three sets of sides. So our only option is SSS. Let's see if our sides simplify. Well, this simplifies down to one over two. This doesn't simplify at all, and that doesn't simplify at all. Since they don't simplify to the same ratio, they're not proportional, sorry guys. Um, therefore, they're not similar. So no, why? Because we failed SSS. Okay, B, these parallel lines tell us that we're gonna have alternate interior angles. We also have vertical angles. Um, we only need two sets of congruent angles to be congruent. We have three, so we're super good. So yes, they're similar because of AA similarity. C, we only have two sets of side for each, so our only option is SAS. It's the only one with two. So I have two and three, and then I have four and five. Let's see if they simplify. Well, this simplifies to one half. That doesn't simplify at all, so no, their ratios aren't the same, so we failed. SAS similarity. Okay, let's look at D. So we're going to have this triangle here, and for this triangle there, we're going to have 15 and 21. For this triangle here, we have 24 
and the whole thing here is 35. Well, this is going to simplify down if you use your um, calculator to 5 eighths. This is going to simplify down to 3 fifths. Those are not the same, so no. There's a shared angle, but since the sides didn't work, it doesn't matter. So we failed SAS. Okay, my only option here is SSS, so let's test all of our sides. So 6, 10, 13. Up here we have 14, 18, 26. That goes down to 1 half. This goes down to 3 over 7. This goes down to 5 over 9. None of those are the same, so no. We failed SSS. Okay, last one. Here's my pair of vertical angles. Oopsies, where are these two arcs? There's another pair, so yes, we um, are similar because of AA similarity. Okay, that's the end of page two. We'll do page three soon.